during the meanwhile. No, 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 no. no. Well, no, no, it's Dexter and me uh, with yet more, yet more Tech Tuesday, techification. Anyway, for this week's Tech Tuesday, uh, I'm not going to review uh, something camera related, but instead it's a look at my Osprey rucksack or backpack, uh, whatever you want to call it, but definitely not a fanny pack. It's the Sport Life 25 model in a fetching black, and I bought it. Uh, uh, to take with me down to my local patch of woodland when I go there to top up the bird feeders. I told you once, these nuts are mine, not the birds. Uh, retrieve files from the trailer can be put there, or just to go bird watching and, you know, of course, taking their, uh, taking their pictures. Yeah, well, I had a bright blue birdhouse bag, <laughs> excuse the alliteration, uh, which is great, uh, but not exactly camouflaged or inconspicuous for this, you know, down the woods, sneaking up on birds uh, use case. I got this um, Osprey bag for half price in my local branch of Go Outdoors here in Swansea for the bargain price of £49. Now, as you'd expect from Osprey, it's really well made from rugged, what appears to be waterproof uh, materials with really tough, tough zippers, hooks and loops then to attach things to. Uh, the straps are really comfortable too. Uh, I've attached a peak design camera clip to one shoulder strap, which is a real revelation for me, and a carabiner that I used to secure Dexter's lead then to the other when I need uh, both hands free. Uh, the waist straps have a handy zip pocket for my beloved Gerber multi-tool, which Lisa got me for uh, last Christmas, together with a little elasticated pocket, which is handy for, you know, litter, etc. Now, of course, there are uh, straps to cinch the waist and shoulder straps across you um, to, to increase the uh, comfort levels, and these are adjustable to accommodate anyone, really, from the skinniest person to the more... Uh, shall we say generously proportioned gentlemen uh, to each side of the bag is an elasticated pocket uh, deep enough for a water bottle or the like but I use them to keep my uh, my bird food in to be honest uh, the back of the bag hides a sleeve which although I think it's designed for a hydration pack is perfect for putting an iPad or similar tablet in a laptop though not so sure sure uh, Maybe not anyway, unless it's a a small one, like an 11 inch perhaps. On the front of the bag, there's an open pocket. Now I keep my kneeling pad in it uh, as it's ideal for grabbing stuff on the go, you know, quickly. Onto the main bag itself, and there are three zipped compartments. Two of the zipped ones uh, are really, really generous. And uh, the smaller pocket uh, is ideal for those things you need to get quicker access to. Uh, the middle pocket has some smaller divided like sub storage pockets uh, as well as somewhere uh, to safely safely hang your keys. The overall capacity of the bag is, as its name would suggest, 25 litres. In use, the bag is extremely uh, comfortable, although perhaps not, you know, Shimoda Action X50, X50 levels of comfort. Uh, but it's capable of holding everything I need for my short trips to the woods and I would imagine if you're going around a day long uh, a day long hike as well is more than enough room it's surprising really how much stuff I can uh, cram inside it with easily enough room for you know a down jacket hat gloves food water those sorts of things but there's only one shortcoming that I can find and that is that the base of the bag is lacking any sort of uh, rubberized or toughened uh, material so I'm always careful or always wary of putting it down on you know soaking wet muddy or rough rough sharp ground for that reason in short though I absolutely love the bag it does everything I need and more and if you can get one at the reduced price I paid then it really represents incredible value for money and I think at the moment uh, time of recording anyway uh, April 2023 uh, Osprey are having a 50% sale on most of their stuff so you might get one at this price and it is, is a real a real bargain for that i probably wouldn't pay 100 pounds for it but uh, you know 49 50 quid it's uh, it's a real bargain anyway that is it for this really short uh tech tuesday uh sorry about the brevity of it <laughs> um and uh yeah we will be back on saturday uh with a look at uh 
a Gavin Hardcastle, aka Photo Tripper course uh, that I recently uh, uh, online course that I recently bought and and undertook called Mastering Sharpness. So I'm gonna have a look at that next Saturday and review that. Um, and uh, yeah, until then, stay safe, stay well, look after yourselves, your loved ones, your little pets, and uh, look after your rucksacks as well. And they will look after you when you're you know out and about hiking in mountains, down the woods, wherever. <laughs> All right then. Uh, uh, until Saturday, uh, be nice. Okay, just be nice, and we will uh, we'll see you then. All right then. Tra.